What's going on everybody? Welcome back to How It's Done. So today, it's springtime in Texas. We're getting ready to plant some bulbs. Make a little flower garden here in the back corner of the yard. Last weekend I did the same thing on the other side. And I've already got a few starting to pop up through the dirt. And once we get a couple more popping up, we'll go ahead and put either some mulch or some organic compost on the top. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get after it. First thing we're going to do is take this uh, weed barrier after we go through it. Uh, I just used a hedge trimmer to basically cut back everything that was growing here. And then I'm going to cover that with this uh, pretty heavy duty weed barrier. Uh, so let's get after it. All right, so the weed barrier is down, but the wind is blowing this quite a bit. So as you can see, I've got some bricks laid out around it. So what I'm going to do is just spray it down with some water real quick. Uh, this actually repels water and kind of doesn't soak into it all that well. But if you get it good spritz, you will end up causing it to stick to the ground a little better. Make it a little bit easier to work with without it moving around on you. So, just give it a good spritz, something to weigh it down. Also, kind of helps me see where the high spots and where the low spots are. Uh, I did cut out around the sprinkler head and the tree there. The part that's the uh, kind of rolled it out. So, now what I'm going to do is lay out the bolts where I believe they need to be placed. I'll just go through and drop them where I want them, and we'll go through and put them in the ground. Alright, so we got all the bulbs laid out about where I want them. We've got some lilies up front here. And then we've got some gladiolas uh, kind of circling the perimeter. Those are the ones that kind of look... It's funny, they actually kind of look like onions. But... They're bulbs, and when you plant them, you want this little flat part on the bottom and the little nub at the top. I have done this upside down mistakenly in the past, and they will right themselves eventually, but they do do best uh, when you plant them the correct way. And then in the middle here, I've got three bunches of the dahlia rhizome, or bulbs, however you want to call them. So, yeah. Um, for these, I'm basically just going to cut some X's in the uh, tarp and push them down in there a little bit and then we'll cover them with dirt. For the lilies, I'm actually going to take and make a little bit of a hole in the ground and bury them uh, just below the soil because as you can see they're already starting to poke up. And then for the dahlias, I'm going to have to cut a square opening, dig a little bit out and bury them down there. So, we'll get after that. So like I said, we're just gonna cut a little X, push that down in there. We'll cover them back up with dirt in a little bit. We just want it to where the root base is going to be able to dig into the soil. Really doesn't take much time at all to do this. Okay, so for the dahlias, what I'm going to end up doing is just cutting a little square, only three sides of it. Plant this bundle down in there, just like that. And then we'll brush the dirt back over it. Whatever that is. And then I'm just going to take this and 
tuck it beneath because I want this to be able to grow out. And then we're going to do the same thing for the leaves. We'll cut a little bit of a hole there. Don't need to go super deep on these because these are more, well, a lot smaller, so not quite as shallow. And because they do have a top piece sticking out, I'm not going to bury them much deeper than that. Since they've already got the first little bit coming up, put the dirt back over it, and then move on to the next one. And that is pretty much it for burying the bulbs in the ground. So now we're going to spray everything down one more time. Get all the dirt and soil to kind of settle in place. And then we put some topsoil over it. When we do the topsoil, we're going to focus primarily on where the bulbs are first. I'll, then we'll water it down. And then we'll fill in the rest to make sure the tarp is not exposed. Alright, so the dirt is now covering all the bulbs. So we're just going to get the light spray to kind of compact the dirt a little bit around those bulbs before we just throw the rest of the dirt on there to hold the tarp. And we do it now. So, just a little bit. I'll try to help compact it. And then what I'll do is I'll go in there and remove the bricks that are weighing down the tarp. And get everything stripped away. And probably two weeks from now, I will go in and flatten everything out, put down some either topsoil and compost or a little bit of mulch when the bulbs actually start to come through. All right, so we got all the dirt spread out. We're just going to give it another quick water. Get everything settled. And that should be it come back in two or three days and spray it down with some fertilizer that I've got. Um, basically, it's the nitrates, nitrites, phosphates, all that stuff from the protein skimmer in the fish tank. I mix them with the water and I water it down and that seems to give everything a good boost. So we'll do that in two to three days and probably do another video in a month or two. And show you how everything turned out.